or untouchables, also known as Dalits, were killed in four days. Activists say upper castes in Tamil Nadu, India, are using lockdowns as an opportunity for assaults. So like I said, in Tamil Nadu, India, since the first nationwide lockdown began on March 25th, there have been at least 30 major incidents of caste-based violence in the state of Tamil Nadu, according to the Madurai-based uh, non-government organization titled Evidence. On May, uh, in May, four Dalits, or untouchables, were killed within the span of four days. Um, uh, a Kothier, who is the executive director of Evidence, claims that the victims are not even able to report to the proper authorities about these hate crimes um, due to lockdown restrictions. Dalits are facing particular discrimination during the pandemic due, due to the casteist belief that they are an inherently unhygienic people. Okay, so you didn't explain what Dalits are. Um, you know, in, in, in Hinduism, you have this caste system, you have the highest cast who are the what the, oh, wait, on mute strip no wait i'm gonna just the uh, they have the highest cast and then the lower and then the, i think how many casts are there four casts anyways shopan will uh, enlighten us once i unmute him um <laughs> but then you have the lowest cast so this is um but the dalits or the untouchable are not the lowest cast the untouchables are the outcast right they're not even in the cast so the highest cast uh they're you know if you look at the uh, their god, I think the god was Shiva, was it Shiva? Um, and the, the highest caste was the head, the second class are the warriors, and then the god's hand, and the lowest caste are the god's feet, um, and the outcasts are just outside the whole caste system, and they're untouchables because they're so dirty and disgusting and uh, inferior in every way, so you can't even touch them, and they get the worst job. The h highest caste get their jobs like being a priest, um, the warrior class gets like being warrior, I guess. Uh, but the low, the untouchables, they get like, you know, they carry out garbage and dead people. And that's how the caste system works. And you're not supposed to marry out of, outside of your caste and all that nonsense. And a lot of times the untouchables or the Dalits who are the outcast get abused or killed like this news suggests. And Shobham, who's going to now tell us, give us more detail. He's not just an ex-Hindu. He's a Dalit himself. So he's untouchable. Um, he's a disgusting lower caste Dalit. Um, we can't, you know. So it's good that he's. We're doing this over. Anyways, never mind. Go oh on, my on. God! Don't even. <laughs> you think I can explain all that in the title? No, no. But wait, this. The, so I have to reason... give us something to talk about. Okay, so what Susanna mentioned also is because of the whole coronavirus thing, people in it seems it seems like people associate Dalits who are dirty and disgusting uh, more with being responsible for spreading disease than average people, and maybe that's why they're getting abused. Anyways, Shobham, sorry. Okay, so yeah, so Tamil Nadu is not a state like we usually talk about North Indian states and the problems with Hinduism there, but Tamil Nadu is in the south, and it is it is in the south, but it is still one of the most caste states in India. And like, in I think usually there are around 100 cases being reported per month about casteism. There are sometimes major, sometimes minor, but the thing about this one is like the last month, or this, I think it's the last month, all the 30 cases are all major cases. And people are saying, like, the caste is there taking advantage of the lockdown situation because people cannot report at, uh, the crimes as effectively and stuff. And that's why they're committing more crimes and everything. And, yeah, so that's basically a, a completely caste problem. But I wanted to mention, like, one special case, like, uh, one case in particular, like, uh, an honor killing, a case of honor killing, because the guy was in love with a girl, and the girl's relatives, the family, killed the guy uh, as an act of honor killing. And and this is, like, a case people think, like, in, uh, in casteism, like, it's usually the Brahmins or the Kshatriyas, like, the upper two castes, this, uh, the priests and the warrior caste, being uh, bigoted against uh, the lower caste, like the uh, Shudras and the Dalits. But in this case, the girl, like the, uh, the people who murdered the guy, they were of the lowest caste. 
the truth was. And the guy oh. who got murdered was so, the late. They are untouchable. Okay, so so they were not they were not killed by upper caste people. They were uh, killed by the lowest caste people. But even though they're lowest caste people, they're still superior to the outcast. This is so bizarre. You are you yourself are in a system. You believe in an ideology that considers you the lowest caste, but you still. Ag- agree with it enough to accept your superiority to outcast people enough to go kill them like you would expect somebody that is is considered the lowest caste to be like fuck this shit why am i the lowest caste but they're like no i accept it and also i'm superior to these outcast people so let's go kill them like how how much level of brainwashing do you need for you to fall for that i mean they are completely like this is ingrained in the mentality even like let's just say delis okay so let's just take an example i've seen this example in practice in real life so i can actually say it's true um uh, the lit parents send their kid to school or college and they were just taking information from it about the school and uh, or something like that and they're saying like who are your friends and they always ask the full names because they want to identify the cast to that if if it's possible uh, like usually it's not possible to identify my cast because my surname is not actually a surname it's the mm-hmm. title given by the british but uh, the other for many others it's possible to identify their cast just by the surnames and yeah. people like if the kid man mind it the family i'm talking about the kid the hypothetical family and the kid they're all the elites okay so they are the lowest of the low they are the outcasts but yeah. the kid says okay these people and they just identify them or the other ones that the list sets well and the parents will be disappointed they will say oh i mean just because he, uh, his friends are of the same caste as him he, they would prefer you uh, their kid to have friends of higher caste so even if they know that they might be this uh, bigoted against him i mean it's getting less and less every, uh, gradually of course but it right. still exists yeah it still uh, exists so it's they, still they are even bigoted i mean it's completely internalized bigotry like they they know they are the lowest and they accept it they won't fight for it they, they even uh, uh, many people even despise people from their own caste just because they think oh yeah they have also sinned and they are the lowest and everything in it's internal it's, so it, yeah. it's internalized bigotry um so the top comment is from somebody a hindu i think or somebody that is sympathetic to hinduism is saying for he- for hand so uh, okay so I, they're reading it very weirdly so they but the message that they're trying to get at is that you guys covering this news but there were some christians in masharashtra state um who conver- who converted some people i don't know and you're not getting that information so you is complaining that why we're not posting some other news that happened somewhere in india about some christians and we're posting this i mean this is It's very okay. no, no. I have so, like to that. No, so frustrating because most of our news is like not about this like we are covering how what the bullshit that the Christians and the Muslims are doing as well. Like do you really think like we're just covering anti-Hindu news like look we didn't have uh, and and this is like classic what about them? I mean do you, do these people actually think like we do, we do not have content against Islam and Christianity? But anyways, go and shop up. No, I have an answer. Well, first of all, if you like, I I saw that comment before coming here. He has like nineteen or twenty replies, and if you open the replies, you will see people like uh, mentioning the actual case, which is what I mean. The ones who attacked him, the mob who attacked the uh, sadhus, or uh, what's the English term, ascetics. Okay, so Hindu ascetics. Uh, and the oh, mob so wait, uh, you're, not, you're not explaining this well what happened some christians attacked okay so what happened no no not, not christians you don't, don't the go into, mob don't go into mob details lynched, just give a summary yeah. a mob oh. uh, lynched an ascetic or some ascetics like i think there were two or three probably okay, okay. not too many okay about. they were yeah. yeah so what happened is like yeah he mentioned they uh, they converted to christianity this yeah. nothing i didn't find anything like that they were i it's possible like they're just more I, mm-hmm. i didn't find the, any religion related to them and yes that is but i didn't think like that's 
because of religion or anything because what what i found is like getting too much the, track yeah but okay so you don't you didn't find reason that it wasn't that it was because of christianity and that's why you didn't include it uh, fair enough yeah i mean it was not it was, related to religion anyway it was mostly like child kidnapping suspicion Right, right. And to be fair, uh, every time there's a Hindu-related story and there's a crime associated with Hindu, we try to question ourselves. We always ask if this is actually because of Hinduism or not. But when it comes to caste system, it is undeniable that it's because of Hinduism. Um, this is like, and it's a fundamental part of Hinduism. Like, don't if anybody denies that the caste system, if anybody tells you that the caste system has nothing to do with Hinduism, they're either out of their mind or they do not know what they're talking about, or they're just outright lying to you. Um, it it goes it goes way back, and this is a this is definitely. You know, you cannot separate caste, the caste system from Hinduism. Which anyway, confuses me because when Westerners convert to Hinduism, like where are they supposed to fit into the caste system? They're the highest. Uh, I mean, they're not uh, technically in India. I mean, uh, yeah. actually, if we go by strict Hinduism, they they cannot be considered as like uh, they cannot be considered as Hindus there because in like. Hindu texts, they have mentioned a specific geographic area which is considered as Arya Bharata, the land of the Aryans. Mm. And this is like the superior ones. These are the actual civilized people. And everyone outside that is barbaric, uncivilized barbarians. Mm. Oh, okay. All right, big so, news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So